everyone, welcome back to Paul's Model Works. So I wanted to take a little bit of time and um, share with you guys some of the different paints um, that I use. And I know that uh, sometimes you guys ask me what paints I use, so uh, here we go. Um, I have just recently, within the last six months, um, started to use some of these um, and I have grown to love them very quickly. Um, but starting off before you paint anything, um, we're going to go ahead and just start with your primer coat. Um, I have become a real fan of the Plasticoat Sandable Primers. Um, this is black, but you can get it in black, uh, gray, or like a uh, rust color. Um, and of course, you know, that way you can pick what you want your undertones to look like. Um, but this is a really, really great primer. Lays down really good, sands out really good. Um, and so I think this is probably my primer of choice. Um, and then we move on to uh, some of the body colors that you have. Now, uh, I do a lot of airbrushing. So um, I have some rattle can options here, which there's nothing wrong with rattle canning. Um, you can get some beautiful paint jobs with the rattle can and a lot of your professional modelers um, and very very good modelers still um, use rattle cans um, as long as well as their airbrush uh, paints to to paint their model cars um, so we'll start with that you've got uh, here we have dupla color um, this is your actual automotive paint and this is um, uh, you can get this in you know your auto stores um, AutoZone, Pet Boys, different places like that. Um, and it makes for a great uh, model car paint just because it's an automotive paint. And then you have um, some you know, your Tamiya spray cans, wonderful spray cans, they paint well. Um, you have your testers, uh, one coat lacquers. Those are uh, really good if you want a paint that's going to dry fast um, and something that you can move through very quickly then I would recommend these one coat lacquers. Um, you can spray the body and it will be, uh, you know, dry fairly quickly. Um, you know, you may still need to let it gas out, but it'll dry a lot quicker um, than your enamel paints and things like that. Um, and then you have uh, testers uh, spray cans. This is an enamel. Uh, and so it's a good, the enamel testers paints lay down pretty smooth and flat. Uh, Model Masters also makes some enamel and some lacquer paints that come in the spray cans as well. Um, but with any of these, you can't go wrong. You get a nice, uh, you know, color, and you can get get some great colors, and you can get a really nice, good paint job with these um, over just using some of your traditional, uh, you know, paints at the home goods store and stuff like that. All right, now. Um, these are some different various uh, paints um, that these can be airbrushed and then some of these can be actual brushed on for detailing and stuff. Um, and I have just started using these auto air paints um, and they are actually really, really nice paints. They're a water-based water um, paint that has an automotive pigment in it so that it uh, you know, can be used in the automotive world, um, but it's also a water-based paint, so it has low odor, and it's a little more um, safer, you know, for the environment and for your health as well. Um, and you can get all kinds of colors in these, as it is an automotive paint, so the colors are limitless. Um, and of course, this is something you're going to have to spray through an airbrush, uh, but it lays down really good. Um, it's easy to uh, mix. Most of these I do like a 50-50 mix of uh, reducer and paint or possibly even, um, you know, uh, I've done some where it's uh, a third of the reducer and then um, the paint, some of them are pretty uh, thinned out already so they'll, they'll spray pretty easy. Um, but my recent model that I just did has been painted with these colors. And so, um, to give you guys my opinions on them now after using it, wonderful paints. Wonderful paints. Um, this is something that you will have to order online, um, unless you happen to have a specialty store or something that would carry them, but you cannot find these um, at your hobby stores like Hobby Lobby and Michaels and, and places like that. Um, it's, they're a little bit harder to find. 
Uh, another uh, really good paint is the Wicked Colors. Um, these are done by uh, Createx as well as they're the same people that do the Auto Air Colors. Um, Createx is the company that makes them. And uh, the Wicked paints are um, kind of in the middle of the Auto Air and then the Wicked and then you have just the regular Createx paints. Um, the Wicked paints also come in some great colors. Now these are a paint that you can get at Hobby Lobby. Um, and uh, so it's something that you might have a little more accessible than the Auto Air colors. Um, for myself, it's a good paint. I have still not perfected the uh, reducing ratio on these. Um, some of them I'm, I'm still working on. Uh, and I've used them on a couple of things. Um, for that reason is that I'm still practicing and learning how to use them. Um, but they are, again, a water-based paint. Something that's, you know, friendly. Uh, that's not too uh, bad on fumes and things like that. And just makes for a nice option. Um, it's more of a permanent paint. Uh, like the auto air paint, um, it can be used in, in the automotive world as well. Um, and then, of course, you have your craft paints. Uh, these are just your regular, you know, uh, 97 cent craft paint that you can get at the hobby store. Um, this is the Folk Art brand. And uh, I, I like the Folk Art brand. It's a little more expensive than some of the cheaper brands. Um, but I've had good success with uh, thinning it down. Um, and just using a regular uh, acrylic thinner, um, airbrush thinner um, from the, you know, the hobby store um, works wonders in, in these. And uh, it definitely will, will give you a nice, uh, you know, paint job. Um, it's craft paint, so you have to be selective with it and, you know, work with it. But it, it'll do the job if you're needing something um, and it's not too bad. Now... Over these craft paints, I would definitely recommend the uh, Vallejo. Uh, these are the model color acrylics. Um, and they just come in these little tiny bottles. Um, and, you know, they're not the cheapest. They're, you're, they're about, you know, three times, four times the price of one of these craft ones. Um, but, you know, if you are spraying these through an airbrush, you really don't need very much paint. I mean, uh, this will last a long, long time. And uh, they've got all different kinds of colors of these. Now, you can get these at Hobby Lobby, and you can get these at some of your more um, local model shops. They're not something that's hard to come by. And they have all different kinds of colors. Um, these also can be thinned with your regular um, acrylic uh, paint thinner, or your airbrush thinner that you can get at your hobby store. Um, and these lay down beautiful. Uh, very, very smooth. Um, some of the smoothest paint I've ever seen lay down is with these um, colors right here. Um, and then, of course, you also have just your regular little uh, uh, jars of paint here. These are Model Masters paints. Uh, these are the enamel paints. Um, you know, I did a lot of painting in the beginning with these because I was learning. I think everybody, you know, first goes to spray cans and these Model Master uh, bottles. Um, again, not that these are bad paints by any means. They are wonderful paints. I mainly use stuff like this for detailing. Um, you know, uh, this here is like our, our stoplight red or uh, actually stoplight metallic red. This is perfect for the back sides of your um, tail lights that have not been made red already and you need to paint them red. Perfect for that. Uh, you know, and then you can get your silver colors and different things like that for painting some of your interior trim. Uh, wonderful paints for that kind of stuff. Uh, as of lately, I stick with a lot of your airbrushable paints um, because you can do so much with them um, as far as mixing your own colors uh, and different things like that. Um, now these are all just your, your kind of your regular paints. I did want to show you guys um, some of the paints that I use for uh, rusting and, and things like that as well.
I also wanted to show you guys one more uh, line of paints um, that I use and have been using regularly. And it is the uh, MIG Jimenez, um, the ammo paints. This is your rust effect colors. Um, and then you've got this here, which is, it says it's for like military tires and tracks. Um, but it is for, again, for rusting, chipping, um, corrosion, and things like that. So if you're wanting to uh, do some rusty models, then, then these are perfect paints for that. Um, and let me just show you inside really quick. They're just your small bottles of um, acrylic paint. And so they, they work very similar to you know, your Vallejo colors um, and things like that. And so these are absolutely beautiful paints. Um, again, they lay down so smooth um, and they, they, they thin out perfect and they, they airbrush perfect. Um, just wonderful paints to paint with. So anyway, um, that is just a selection of a few of the uh, colors from all the paints that I have. Um, I've got way too many to, to show you everything on a video. Um, but these are my most used paints, uh, paint types. And hopefully that is maybe give some of you guys a guide on, on some good paints to use, um, some good stuff to look for. Um, I also uh, just now remembered that I needed to show you the clear. Um, this is uh, the DuPont. Let me move some stuff here. This is DuPont um, A7480S clear. Now I just used this on my current model. Um, that I painted and I have absolutely fallen in love with it. Beautiful, beautiful clear, um, levels out really nice, um, doesn't take a whole lot to spray. I've not tried it on all of these paints to see how it would interact with them, um, but over the auto air colors and I'm sure some of these other colors it would lay down beautiful. And um, I've got myself uh, this can here, so I'm definitely, once this one goes out, we'll be grabbing another one. Um, but as you can see, it's a really large can, so it should uh, see me through a few models. And let me uh, lay down some beautiful clear. So anyway, as like I was saying, hopefully this will help some of you guys out that are um, wanting to try out some different paints or have heard about some of these paints but haven't really heard um, somebody say anything about them. Um, I know when I was looking for paints and I wanted to try paints, you know, it was kind of nervous and... Uh, made you, you know, wonder if it was going to be worth your money to buy some of them. Um, so I would say with these paints here, and um, you can't go wrong. I know there's other paints out there that other people will swear by, and I'm there are perfect paints as well. It's just this is what I've used, so this is what I can um, attest to. Uh, so anyway, um, there is all my paints, and I think that's pretty much all I've got for you guys. So keep building these awesome models. Try out some new paints. Don't be afraid to try things. And eat, sleep, styrene. I'll see you all in the next one.